how many total sides are there in a cube yes we have six sides how one two three and back side of two back side of three and the opposite side of one so we have totally six sides how many adjacent sides can be there yeah let's check for two okay so for two three is an adjacent side one is definitely adjacent side and this side on this portion there will be an adjacent side even here there will be an adjacent so totally one two three four so four adjacent side and how many opposite side it has let's consider again two so opposite side will be on this direction so what it will have is one so totally we have six sides four adjacent side for particular number and one opposite side for particular number so adding that particular number that is two here so totally six we have in order to find the opposite side of the cube there will be a question stating that they will give these two type of cubes and they will ask you to find the opposite side of particular number like 4 or we have to find other numbers so if it is like that then we have three different tricks so i will talk about the first trick now first trick in the question they will give two types of dice and it will have the numbers on it if all the numbers are completely different then you have to apply this trick so what is the trick is if you have to find the opposite side of 4 what you have to do is minus the particular number from 7 So what will be the answer is 3. Okay. So here 3 will be opposite side of this particular 4. For example, what is opposite of 2? Definitely 7 minus 2 that is 5. Opposite of 2 is 5. So, this comes only when it is a dice. For example, only when it is a number here. Let's move on to the next condition here. Dice will be given and we can find one number which is matching the next dice. What does this mean is? So, this particular number is matching on the same side of the two cubes. So, which means 5 is opposite to 1 and 6 is opposite to 3 so this is that easy if you find a cube and it has one particular symbol letter or number which is matching with the next cube on the same side then it means the other sides are opposite to the other sides in the cube so let's consider if this is not there okay let's consider this and this we have two here on this side and two on this side so what happens here is what we have to do is we have to make this two come here so how this can be done we can move the numbers in clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction so here let me move this anti-clockwise direction so that my two comes here so once i move this particular number to this direction the all other numbers also has to be moved to the next direction so what will happen this will come here and this will come here so two is coming here so this is that the one will come here so here and three will come here so again this particular cube will become this particular cube so now we know the answer opposite of 5 is 1 and 6 is 3 move on to the next trick what we find here is we can see the two numbers matching with the other cubes so we can see 3 here 3 is here 5 and it is here so what does it mean it's very easy that 2 is opposite side of 4 so 2 will be opposite side of 4 so we have seen 
three tricks. These three are the main condition. One is all are completely different. This will come only when the numbers on the side. We have to consider the seven. Seven minus that particular number will be the opposite side of that number. So next is only one side is same. Then we have to convert wherever it is, bring the same number to the same side in the two cubes and the other two sides are opposite to each other. The third trick is very simple. We can find two numbers will be same on two dies. So this particular number which is different in this first cube and the second cube has one different number. These two are opposite to each other. So let's move on to the problem. So they are asking what is the opposite side of number okay let's find it here okay so we can see the cube here so 2 is here and we can find this cube. so 2 is here okay so what we have to do is we ha we can see it's another easy trick okay we can see 2 here so 2 will have 4 adjacent side okay adjacent side and 2 will have 1 opposite side. Right. So, we can see here what are the adjacent side of 2. We can see 1, 4, 6, 3. So, definitely what will be the opposite side? Yes, this are adjacent side and this will be the opposite side. Okay. Hope you understood this basic. So, let's move on to the trick that we already discussed. Okay. So, let's consider if they have not given this particular cube here. Okay. Let's close this. So, these two cubes. So, we can see 6 is common here. So, what we have to do is we have to move 6 to the same position. So, this will be moved here. This is here. And this will be moved here so here what it will be 4 5 and 6 here new position okay now we have to find what opposite of 2 so since 6 is here opposite of 4 is 3 opposite of 5 is 2 so 2 has opposite of 5 so we got the same answer so let's move on to the next problem this is what shapes okay so they are asking us to find the opposite of this particular shaded circle okay so let's consider what let's consider this okay the same trick applies what we have to do is we have to move the triangle to same position of what this cube has so we are moving it here this goes here. See if you are doing clockwise or anti-clockwise all the symbols, all the numbers in the cube has to move in the same direction. So, triangle comes here. Cross goes here. Shaded square comes here. So, now it has same side. Okay. So, what will be the opposite of the shaded circle? Yes, it's a cross symbol. Okay. Let's try finding the opposite side of this particular triangle so we can take this cube with this cube so what we can see is the circle here and here is common so we have to move this particular circle to same position of this cube so what will happen is this will move here and this will move here this will move here so circle cross and arrow so now tell me what will be the opposite. So this is coming. Okay. So what will be the opposite side of this particular triangle? Yes, it will be this arrow mark. So arrow mark will be the opposite side of the triangle. Hope you guys understood this concept as well. So let's meet in next video. Bye.